Hello, this is Cookie from Cookie Dartin, and you're watching the handset and gaming review of Panasonic P81. This is a dual SIM handset powered by an octa core processor. Let's quickly go through the specifications as mentioned on the box. P81 houses the 1.7 GHz MediaTek octa core processor, sports a 5.5 inch IPS screen with HD resolution. 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera with LED flash, 2 megapixel front camera. This handset runs on Jelly Bean 4.2 out of the box with 1 GB RAM, 8 GB internal storage. The battery is 2500 mAh capacity. Back panel is with leather finishing and you also get free flip cover. Also included is 6 month Evernote premium services. Video and music downloads from Hangama. India Today subscription and Redware Bouquet. Inside the box you will find the handset, the P81, screen guard, warranty card, user guide, here is the free flip cover of a premium quality. You need to clip this on the back of the handset. The back is with a glossy finish. It's a good quality flip cover data cable, travel charger, earphone, here is the call button and the mic and uh, the closer view of the earplug. And the final content is the battery of 2500 mAh capacity. Here is the handset, the P81 from Panasonic. This is the front view, the side view and the rear side. The back panel is made up of plastic and has got this leather finishing. This gives a very elegant look to the handset and is soft to touch. There is this greyish silver line that runs on the sides. As you can see here, the build quality and the finishing is good. Unfortunately, the handset really doesn't look attractive from the front side. Here are the three touch sensitive buttons. And at the bottom you will find the micro USB port and the mic. 3.5mm audio jack is placed on the top, volume rockers are on the left and the power button on the right. On the front facing top you will find the in-call speaker, the camera and the sensors. On the rear side this is the speaker out vent, the Panasonic logo and the 13 megapixel camera with LED flash. Let's open up this handset. The back cover is made of plastic, is of a good quality and a little flexible. The SAW values are mentioned inside the battery compartment. This is a dual SIM handset. You can see the dual SIM slot. You need two normal SIMs. This is the SIM slot 1 that supports 3G. And uh, here is the SIM slot 2 that supports 2G. You can also see the micro SD card slot. This is the micro SD card slot. Handset weight with battery is 153 grams. It is 8.54 mm thick, the breadth is 77.49 mm and the length is 149.85 mm. Let's power on. Here is the lock screen which is a bit different. And here is the home screen. Touch is smooth and responsive. Here are the quick settings option. There is built in FM radio. Kingsoft Office application, Hangama India Today application, Modern Combat 4, Play More, Power Saver, Sony Live, Torch, Wireless updates are supported and Vira remote application. The backlit buttons they do light up but it's very dim. If you want to switch between application or want to close a particular application, you will need to double tap the home button and you'll get the list of applications that are currently running. Wi-Fi Direct is supported, Wi-Fi Hotspot and USB tethering is also supported. Bluetooth tethering is not supported. In display there is a clear motion option and uh, the indicator light option. This is the LED notification. CPU power saving mode is by default enabled and it's better to keep that enabled. Of the 8GB internal storage, 5.63GB is allocated for apps, that is the only available storage. 
Of the 1GB RAM, you get around 259 MB free. Only the English language is supported. I have connected an external pen drive and OTG is not working. OTG is not supported. To unlock, you need to draw U on the screen. There is built-in GPS. System information ARM Cortex A7 1.6 GHz, it's octa-core with Mali 450MP GPU. The hardware is MT6592 running Android 4.2.2 with screen resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels. And here are the list of sensors. There are three sensors, accelerometer, proximity and light. The time is 1057, battery at 90% and the temperature at 33 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 13862 and to score is 27533. Vilamo. Metal 859, Multi Core 1505, Browser 1649, Niramark 2 64.3 FPS, and this handset supports 5 point multi touch. Let's check out the camera. Here is the camera interface with 4 different modes normal, HDR, panorama, and GIF animation. It's an autofocus camera with 13 megapixel resolution. Here are the different camera settings. Let's go to the picture size. As you can see, this is 13 megapixel. And in video size, you can record in 1080p resolution. There is the video stability option that I'm going to enable. And you also have an option to record videos in 3GP or MP4 formats. The front camera is 2 megapixel resolution and can shoot 720p videos. I've started the video recording and this video got recorded in 1080p resolution at 49 fps. After 23 minutes the battery dropped by 8% and the temperature is 37 degrees. Let's play some games. I've installed the Modern Combat 4. This game got installed on the internal storage. This being an octa-core processor there are no issues playing high-end games. And now let's check out the Asphalt 8. This game also got installed on the internal storage. I'm going to set to the highest visual quality. The gameplay is very smooth. I played these games for around 11 minutes, the battery dropped by 5% and the temperature is 40 degrees. I am now going to play a video in a loop. For that I am going to set the brightness to the maximum. The brightness is now set to maximum and Wi-Fi is switched on. I am going to play this video. I shot this video using the same handset. It is in 1080p resolution. And after 21 minutes, the battery dropped by 7% and the temperature is 34 degrees. Here is the flip cover and I am going to clip the handset. This is how the handset looks with the flip cover. The flip cover quality is very good. You can also see the volume markings on the flip cover. This is not a magnetic flip cover and nothing happens when you open up the flip. You will need to manually press the power button and draw U to unlock the phone. The viewing angles are good. Panasonic P81 is powered by 1.7 GHz octa-core processor. It runs on the Android 4.2 Jelly Bean OS with 1 GB RAM and 8 GB internal storage. There is micro SD card slot, however, you cannot install apps on the external storage. OTG is also not supported. Over-the-air updates, however, are supported. This handset also comes with 13 megapixel rear autofocus camera and a 2500 mAh battery. 3G Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS are supported. The P81 is currently priced at Rs. 16,700. The Alcatel One Touch Idol X Plus is still a better option. For full review, sample images, and videos, visit my website, kogi.in.